What's going on everybody and welcome to the full game walkthrough series episode 172 today We continue our journey in the moon cliffs. Uh, let's go to the detention Who block. Are you? Oh, what's your operating number? Where's he at though? Boring conversation anyway spellbinder use the summoning rune you quickly throw down the summoning stone like Jalen taught you. It flares brightly and smoke billows from it. Cinder and smoke. <laughs> I can't see him, though. Quickly, free the prisoners. What? I guess that's more of a dialogue thing, more than, um... Thank you for oh. freeing us. Jalen sent you? We will glide over the moon cliffs to Lastwood and rejoin him in Queen Myrtle Town. You'll need a comb key to get through the honeycomb gate. I saw one in the Tamarind Tower, but it is heavily guarded. Okay. Um, am I the only one confused? But hopefully all of you are enjoying your day once again. Uh, fantastic time in Chrysalis, let me tell you. Um, you know, I'll be honest. Going through these areas, it just brings back so many memories and... It's fantastic. Divum, what do we got? <laughs> Sugar gliders. Always flighty. But her advice seems sound. Yeah, I, I would think so. Let's take on this tamarind tower and get the comb key. Watch out for the warrior brood. The warrior brood, not the brood mother. Team, let me tell you, she literally is a brood. That'll be a, uh, a very interesting re... I don't know if reunion's the right word because, I mean, on this character we've never met before, but I'm pretty sure we have to defeat the Brood Mother twice. One in her normal state, and then the second one, it's like she's like, Ugh! you know what I mean? I mean, she's already a brute. I see the comb key way up there. Ah, the warrior brood. Can you hold them off while I get the key? Fleshlings, we sting you a thousand, thousand times. You do that, my friend. Good luck, I should say. Good luck. Alrighty. 13,000 health. The Royal Guard. 6k health. That's pretty darn good, team. I'll be honest. Starting things off that way, are we? So, you know, I prefer a raw that takes 6 suns than that spell. I'd rather go through two raws than, uh, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's kind of like a, um, I don't know. What do you call it? I mean, it's not really, is it like a, uh, give and take kind of thing? It's like a trading type of thing. I can't think of the word. That's kind of, it's kind of awkward. Sorry. Um. I'm having a brain fart currently. You ever have one of those? I'm going through it right now. Literally, my brain has farted. It's gonna kill me, too. Not the fart, but the fact that I can't remember the word. Oh well. I don't know. What was I talking about? I was talking about something. And I just discarded the cleanse charm, which could remove this. Well, there you are. Um, we don't need all those humongo frogs. It's not a frog party team. We're in a bug world, not a frog world. But frogs would be useful. I mean, frogs essentially eat bugs, don't they? Faint. Double blade. Kind of a toss-up from here, really. Um, I want to wait until I find a 35 Myth Blade, and then I'll hit. I do hope we can find that. In the meantime, I'll faint the Warrior Brood. Possible crit will kill. Hopefully. We'll have to see on that. Skeletal Pirate? I haven't seen somebody use this for a while. Maybe they have used it and I just have been oblivious to it. Or at least I blocked. 
If I didn't block, that would have did some serious damage. Skeletal Pirate, honestly, for its damage for five pips is still really good. I, don't I mean, it's it's lower than Ninja Pigs, but I mean, for for what it is, it's it's a quality spell team. Now, if I do crit, I will kill. But, I mean, do I bank on the fact that it's a possibility? I don't think so. I'm just going to re-blade again. And hopefully I can find the Myth Blade. I think that's the one thing we were just waiting on. Eventually we'll get it. It's just a matter of when, right? I don't know. Is Reliquary enough? With the 25 damage? It might be. That's an interesting question. I want to say yeah. Never mind. We got this team. We're using this. Now we're going to hit. We... Uh, honestly, if we crit, everybody's dead. Samurai. They're pulling all the stops today. I don't know if you all know this, but on my death character when I was farming for, uh, um, it was way back when, but when I was farming for my, um, my blue samurai sword, I mean, it, it's like a samurai sword, right? Uh, you know what we're gonna do? Because we can, we're gonna potent faint him and make, you know, honestly, he, he's dead, team, he's dead. We're, whoa, that's a spell. But anyway, like I was saying, on my death character, I have samurai. Uh, the spell, I learned it from a samurai boss, um, I'm trying to remember that dungeon Mushu, with the Plague Oni or whatever that is, it's not the Death Oni, it's not the final, it's not the Tree of Life, it's, it's like, I think it's the Shirataki Temple, I believe, right? Anyway, regardless, I have that, so, I mean, I'm never... <laughs> I'm never going to use it. I just have it. It's kind of funny. It's the only spell I've actually gotten from a battle that, you know, whatever bosses drop their spells. It's the only one I've ever gotten. And I can't use the darn thing. Who knows? I guess it's just my luck. But, I mean, I guess the things I do have already in my death I've crafted. Which will probably be the thing that I'll have to do for my myth. Most definitely. Did I only have a couple of blades? I must have rebladed a lot. Oh, this cat's dead if he doesn't block it. No way! Ivan's brainwaves are strong or something's going on. That was a very, very... 116. Really. 116. You've got to be kidding me. That's crazy! Crazy good. Alright. Rest in lasagna, my friend. A little bit unnecessary. I mean, it's, it's, it's not really needed. It's unnecessary. I always have to factor in, though, team, that I have a higher chance of fizzling. Which worries me. It honestly does worry me. Alright, see what we can do here. At least he didn't block the first one. That's actually really good. I'm proud of that. It's really good. Brood mother, we fail you. Snowfur's long blade. Whoa. You know, honestly, I'll be real honest, team. That's either a dance move, or that is one of the creepiest and spookiest things I've seen in the spiral in a long time. I don't know, it's just like... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Alright, we got... <laughs> Done. Die, Rattling! No! Quickly, get to Divim and see if you can help him. The Broodmother always ruins the mood. She's a terrible person at that. <laughs> no! I feel so... <laughs> I'm not going to give any spoilers. No spoilerinos, team! 
Spellbinder, take the comb key. I can't zoom into your face, Divum. Plus, I need to zoom. The brood mother stung me. I can feel the poison burning through my veins. Go through the honeycomb gate to the last wood. Find my kin. Please, do whatever you can to help them. For me. The royal guard are swarming. You need to battle through them quickly. That's really sad, team. I'm being 100% honest right now. I got goosebumps. I legitimately just had goosebumps. Wow. You know, I think one of the sadder things is that we actually have to come back here and defeat more cats. I think that's I think that's a little bit I don't know. I mean Divum's near death experience, which I guess I mean the world's been out for a while. I mean, yeah, he he gets cured and whatnot. Which I believe is like essentially, I mean, yeah, last wood, uh the next part. Going back and forth between these areas. Helping Divum. Defeating the Brood Mother. Um I mean, I know I'm missing, like, some part of the story. Like I always say, really fuzzy with this world, but... I feel like... I mean, he's just laying there. Oh, my. I've often thought, though, you know, whenever... I mean, he's died a lot of times, I mean, for her wizard, right? I mean, that's... You know, cats have, like, nine lives times that by how many I can only imagine how many rats have I don't even know at this point all right plus 45 well they have both faints 45 hope to find a 35 another minus 25 another day with balanced people in the game team they love using this spell you know, honestly, I think I'd probably rather watch three Raws than get that spell. Maybe, no, you know what, no. Three Raws, that's pushing it. That's, that's, <laughs> three Raws is the entire app. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, that, that's, that's, that's just, uh, you're asking for trouble. No, I think two's fine. I'd, I'd rather watch two Raws than three. Could you imagine, could you imagine three Raws? Five, four, five, even. I fall asleep. We don't want that, team. We definitely don't want that. Alrighty. Well, I know we do want this plus 45, though. It's a really good draw. Probably the most clutch draw we've had in a while. Alright, GG. We crit 10k. We'll have to see. Most definitely in this area, especially in the mob battles, drop about 20 to 30 frames ish. Oh, and we fizzle. Even better. Can it can you, de can you detect the salt? It's not really salty though. Light you ever see that uh the meme or that picture. I'm not really salty. I'm lightly salted. You know, like the lightly salted Lay's chips. I, I'd have to say I'm lightly salted. More than anything, really. Now it's hopefully GG. I'm pretty sure. Right? I may or I, I don't think I'll kill. I, I I hope. No, it's that minus twenty five. Oh, well, we have another frog, I guess. But a little bit unfortunate is what it is. At least we have some backups, huh? All right, now they're dead. We are getting fairly low on health too. Doesn't really worry me, but. I guess I, ha I still have a lot of faith in Midnight. She's definitely proven herself more this world earlier on than, um, 
back in Azteca. Even Avalon. Oh, now I crit. See, I'm telling you, team, the game messes with your mind. It just knows. The same goes for drops. I don't know. Call me crazy, but there is a pattern between that kind of stuff. All right. Let's go use the honeycomb gate. Oh, also, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, one of the previous eps talked about uh, getting that fourth potion. Let's do that now. Also, just wanted to show you all that uh, the moon cliffs gate here, the last wood here, little get em goods, little get em goods, right? Um, I believe there's even portals to Tyrion Gorge, Fort Ratchius, and and whatnot. Um, let's go get our fourth potion. I wanted to show you that. And I believe we get the quest. I don't know if we have to defeat somebody, or we may have to get it from somebody else. Wait, does Zoltana give it to us? Hmm, that's the thing. Oh, no, it's not too much of a worry right now, team. Let's see what Zoltana has. I'm curious. Spellbinder. I've heard reports of another unusual creature lurking about Bastion. Search on the walkway that overlooks the Arcane Colossus. Can you investigate whether he's okay, a friend Okay, yeah, all right. So th that's what it is. Friend or foe. All right. Yeah, so you talk to the leg. And for those who uh, remember um, Alan Ghost Dust, legend in his own right. Greetings, young wizard. Sorry, I've always wanted to say that. What a champion. Because you opened the way into Chrysalis, I was able to follow in your footsteps. I was sent by Headmaster Ambrose to find you. Who am I? I'm Alan Ghost Dust, a special agent of the Council of Light. The Council wants you to have this potion to help in your quest to defeat the Shadow Queen. Stay strong, young wizard. We are all behind you. May your light burn bright. Team, I'm telling you, these goosebumps are real. Fourth and final potion, hype outstanding all right let's go use the port team cheers to you my good friend cheers to you all righty we're moving team we're going into the last wood i'd have to say one of the more struggling places of chrysalis the cone key slots into place and the honeycomb gate opens up for you allowing you to slip through the honeycomb wall you need to hurry out before more of the apiary warriors reach you. It's time to enter the last wood and search for Divim's kin. Diego, what are you doing here? Greetings, wizard. We saw what occurred in the Venomous Hive. Let me help you. I know the path is hard, but you must have courage and faith in your heart. We will do whatever we can to assist you. You are searching for the last of the burrowers, yes? With luck, they can help you get closer to Morgath. Beyond this ravaged land lies the last wood of Chrysalis. I suspect the burrower scouts patrol this region stealthily. Search for a deer mouse scout. When you see one, stay close, or they can move quickly. Alrighty. Welcome to the last wood team. We got Camp Havoc, which, well, legitimately... Destroyed, right? Havoc. Peppergrass Nook. A lot of get em goods going on here, right? Queen Myrtle Town. Beautiful waterfalls. Um, I'd have to say, it's honestly a really fantastic area. I would have to say, some a lot of people have a lot of bad memories. I, I'd have to say, I believe, last wood, right? Where you have to defeat... The infamous blue razors. Oh my goodness. There, in the bramble. That looks like a deer mouse. Quickly, after him. Remember, Diego said to follow him closely. I'm having a nightmare right now, team. I don't know. I'm hoping to change my mind about Last Wood. It's a beautiful area, don't get me wrong. I think it left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths kind of a figure of speech right how um you've had to defeat the same cats over and over and over you know what i mean i don't know or maybe it's just me fantastic area are you following me 
I must away. I must away. Yo, Mistwood, let's go. Getting that reagent hype, team. Reagent hype. Best place to farm for Mistwood, as we all know, is Morganth. Keep back, whoever you are. He's a spook is what he is. You'll only get hurt if you keep following me. Is that so? Defeat Deer Mouse Scout. This is just one of them. 73,000 XP. For what, I might ask? Oh yeah, let's go talk back to Zoltana as well today. Get that free 17,000 XP. Which, honestly, everybody could use. That's the one thing, though, too, that people criticize about part one of Chrysalis. The, uh... I'm pretty sure they haven't, I guess, quote-unquote, nerfed it in the way that it gives a lot of XP. I think it still remains the same. I think they don't, like, nerf a... I, I don't think they nerf a world in a lot of respects. I don't think they ever nerf XP that's ever gained, but, um... When Arc 3 comes out, whenever that is, they will definitely um, be making the world easier. You know, like they did with Dragon Spire. Essentially, all the worlds, really. Um, Azteca, especially. Um, so it'll be interesting to see um, going into the future. But, um, I don't know. I'd have to say the positives definitely outweigh the negatives when it uh, when it comes to all of Chrysalis, really. Fantastic world. I mean, you look at these areas, these bush bushes. <laughs> Whoa! <coughs> Excuse me. Trees. The organics, really. You know. Fantastic. One of a kind. Um... But yeah, on the real, I have to say, there are some flaws. But every world has their flaws, right? Put on a plus 45 blade. Should I have fainted? Probably. But I'm feeling pretty YOLO right now. Slash spicy. It's been a busy, spicy week, team. You just have those weeks, you know what I mean? I thought Midnight was going to heal for... <laughs> though she was going to heal for once, but... I guess not. No, she's been doing good, though. I guess in all of the uh, pet conspiracies that are still around, uh, you know, people believe in, like... I'm trying to give some examples. I'm trying to remember. Oh, and I fizzle. Oh, that's fantastic um well anyway you know um where was i going with this well essentially there's like i mean i think all of you know about conspiracies or like good luck charms for pets do i believe in them i mean it doesn't hurt <laughs> i mean uh did I really double blade for some reason? Face palm right there. But, anyway, like I was saying. I believe, I, you know, I, I'd i have to say, I, I, I believe in some pet, pet good luck charms. One of them is uh, feeding your pet. You know how you can feed your pet items, whether it be, you know, your 50th life amulet from Morgant, or, you know, what, whatever's on the menu of what you get that day. And then some people believe in certain kind of snacks, but when it comes down to it, all of your pet's talents are already predetermined the moment you hatch, right? Half and half and whatnot how it goes kind of simplified but hold your magic spell by yeah. the broken sword would speak to you he waits for you there who 
Why have you been chasing me? I really don't know. You were with Devim Whiteheart. The commander of the foothold, Alwyn, will want to speak to you at once. Go inside and see him. Amazing. Well, we're moving, team. We're... Oh. See, I'm struggling already. Beautiful area. Oh, we have the port as well. well let's go back to... Um, go back to Bastion. Talk to uh, Zaltana. Zaltana, my friend, the leg... We're moving. We're moving, team. We're moving. What do you got? I trust you've taken care of the matter. Hmm. Excellent. Fantastic. We're about to level two, team. 102,000 away. 101,000. 101 and something. Not bad. Wait, where's that port at? Over the water? I think so. Oh, yeah, it is. Fantastic. Alrighty, team. So, that'll do it for me today. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like. It's always appreciated. Uh, watch out for the next episode. Um, take care, team. Starting, well, finishing. Uh, I don't even know finishing. Continuing our journey next time throughout Last Wood. Beautiful area. Um, expect salt. I believe there will be salt. Take care, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day.